All right, hello everyone. Um, I hope that you can hear me. Um, welcome to the Tusculum University um, CACRO presentation. My name is Jessica Caudill. I work at Mitchell Community College and I'm facilitating this webinar. Um, so I would just like to say welcome to the virtual college exploration for all North Carolina students sponsored by the Carolinas Association of Collegiate Registrars and Admissions Officers and StriveScan. So thank you for joining us. A few housekeeping announcements before we get started. You can see the Q&A button on your screen to type questions to our presenters at any time. Your camera and microphone are off so the panelists cannot see or hear you. And this is just one of many different sessions happening. So be sure to check out the full schedule at CACRAO.org. The presentation is being recorded and will be available within about a week at that same website, CACRAO.org. And so now I'd like to turn it over to our presenters. Hey y'all, I'm Carrie Beth and I am an enrollment representative at Tusculum University. So I'm going to share see the right screen. Let's see, there we go. Okay, so I'm just gonna go through this and then um, if you have any questions, you can type that in the box and Laura will be happy to help you. So, First of all, a little bit about Tusculum. We are located in Greenville, Tennessee. So it is about an hour and 15 minutes, hour and a half from Asheville, um, about three and a half hours from Charlotte, just to give you um, a little bit of, sorry about that, a little bit of um, background on that. We are the oldest institution in the state of Tennessee, so that's cool. We're located right in the mountains, and so it's a really cool environment that you can um, live in right, right here in Greenville. So a lot of people think when they think private school, they think that's gonna be you know, super unaffordable, they'll never be able to pay off their debt, things like that, but that's not really the truth. Um, we don't have out-of-state tuition, so all of our students pay the same amount. Um, we do have merit-based scholarships, so the way that works is as soon as you um, apply and get accepted, you will be given a scholarships right off the top. So that's really awesome. And that's not included anything privately you may get. And then if you live in the Appalachian Regional Area, um, you can receive another scholarship for that as well. So that's really cool. And um, that automatically makes your price go way down. So a lot of times, you know, people think that that is gonna be super unaffordable, but the way it works at private schools is we have those private scholarships so we can give you more sometimes than you can get at a public institution. So this just kind of goes back into um, how valuable it is to get a, a really great education and different ways to get more scholarships. So um, community college graduates can get two different scholarships on top of the other ones that I just talked about. So you can get a um, Pathway Scholarship, which is usually about $500, and Phi Theta Kappa Scholarship. Um, if you don't know about Phi Theta Kappa, please reach out to your, your counselor there, and they will help you figure out how to become a member. You might get invited, and then you pay a little fee, and but that fee, you will get way more scholarships than that fee will um, take over. So that's a really great way to get scholarships no matter where you go. So that's really awesome. Um, Another way that we do things is, so our acceptance process is very simple. So as soon as we get your transcript and your application, um, we'll review that. There's no essay or anything like that. And then you'll get a scholarship based on that GPA. Um, this slide just shows all of our different majors. So on um, the left side, we have our adult and online studies. We do have some online programs. So if you're someone who maybe you don't want to move here, you don't want to live here, but you want to go to school here, those are options for you. Um, the independent program of study is a great option if you have something that you kind of want to do a put your own major together kind of situation, and we'll talk about that here in a minute. Um, we do have an RSN to BSN online, which is really cool, and that starts any semester. So if you come to school here, you can only start the nursing process program 
in the spring, but if you do it online, you can start at any semester. Um, we also have a psychology concentration, um, which would help you in the criminal justice field if you wanted to do that online as well, as well as business. Um, and then in the graduate terms, you can get your business online undergrad and then turn around and get it, get your graduate online under a uh, degree online as well. So that's really cool. And then we have all of these down here that are different master's programs as well. So on the other side, we have all of our undergraduate programs and take these with a grain of salt because they are very black and white um, as far as what we have. But just because you don't see it on here doesn't mean we don't necessarily have it. Um, the art program is very, it, it just says two things on there, but that's not at all what we cover as far as the broad spectrum. There are so many different things in that department that you can do within those two concentrations. So if you see something on here and you're like, well, they don't have it, um, just ask because there's a chance that it may be um, named a little differently or just it falls into a bigger category. The only thing that we you know, don't really have is engineering because we are a um, civic arts, civic, civic and liberal arts institution. So we're not as um, engineering tech focused as that um, would require, but we can do chemical engineering. So we have a great chemical chemistry program that will allow you um, to get prepared to go to grad school for that. So there are also a ton of undergraduate minors. Most of our students will minor in one or two things. So there are lots of different options. Even if you just wanna do something that interests you, um, that's a great way to just expand your horizons and make you more well-rounded. Um, and I mentioned earlier that we are a civic arts institution and that just means we're deeply rooted in service. So all of our students are required to get eight hours of community service. Um, and we do all of that on one day. So it's not anything that you have to do outside of um, that normal day, but most of our students do. Most of our students get a, a whopping amount of community service within their programs, within their clubs. Um, it's something that students who come to Tuscaloosa want to do. So it's not anything just you know smothered on you or forced on you, but it's something that our students love to do and they strive to you know, be rooted in our community because that's what we are, what we stand for. So as far as transfer students, um, you have to have 12 hours of college credits. So if you don't have 12 hours of college credits in college, not just dual enrollment, not um, anything that you took in high school, but at a college campus, then you have to have a 2.0 GPA in your college coursework. If you have less than 12 hours, at, on a college campus, then you can apply as a traditional freshman student and you would get a scholarship according to that and your test scores. So it just depends on um, where you are. We have a lot of students who, um, especially this year, went through not knowing what they wanted to do. So just apply and then we can let you know what you are. Because um, if you did just take dual enrollment and you didn't go as a traditional transfer, you could be just a freshman as well. So this just goes over the apply steps at, in the middle of this page. So you submit an application, it's online, it's very simple, and then submit unofficial, I mean, submit official transcripts from all of the schools that you've previously attended. So once we receive all of those, we'll be able to do review, and then you will receive um, scholarship accordingly. And then there's a few different things that we can help you with as far as veteran services, if you got your GED, different things like that, we'll accept all of those things. So one thing Tusculum does that's really special, especially for transfers, and we can do it for anyone, but especially for transfers, is we do an individual graduation plan. So when you come to transfer in, then you will receive, we'll get all your transcripts together and you'll receive a graduation plan that shows exactly how long it should take you to graduate, what classes you need, um, maybe when you would take them. Those can vary a little bit and then these can be changed, but it at least gives you an idea of what you're looking at as far as how long it will take you to graduate. Another thing that um, just like everyone else, we require you to do the FAFSA. That way we can see how much money you may receive outside. A lot of people are very surprised at how many Tusculum grants or opportunity grants or things like that, that they receive over the course of their four years here um, that they thought, oh, I didn't even know I was gonna get anything. So apply to all the places that you're interested in. Um, our application is free. You get all your stuff in, you get accepted, do your FAFSA, send that to us by Christmas. We will get you an offer letter that will show all the things that you could get from us. And that costs you nothing other than ordering your transcripts. So there's no reason not to figure out, um, you know, what we could offer for you. 
So this goes back to the independent program of study, which is really neat because a lot of people um, don't necessarily fall into a true category. So this allows you to choose your primary area of study. Um, I actually graduated with an interdisciplinary studies degree, which is very similar to this. And I chose education. So you can choose, say you chose education and then you would do um, study so many credits according to that degree. And then you would choose a second. And what I did is I chose counseling. So you can do any two um, and do this. And that creates two different concentrations so that you get the most well-rounded degree of what you need to succeed later on. And then you have the option to choose a third one as well. So with Tusculum being a small school, you're it's an equal um, opportunity to be able to do lots of different things that maybe at a larger school would be more difficult because things are set in stone, where at a small school, our professors and deans can kind of do some different things for you just because our programs are smaller. Um, and going back to small, Tusculum is about um, 16 to 1700 students total, about 1000 to 1200 on campus and about 75% of those live on campus. So we are um, a very small campus, you're going to be a lot of one on one with your professors, um, your friends, your peers, and that it that just creates a really family um, close knit environment. So especially if you far are far away from home, you can get that environment. So this slide, Tusculum is very special in this fact that we are very largely first generation college students. So we have tons of resources such as student success. We have um, textbooks that are free to students to use in the library that are active textbooks, not just old textbooks, but active ones. Um, we have scholarships for first generation students. So if your parents did not get a bachelor's degree, you can qualify as a first generation student. So those things are there for you. And another cool thing about that is there are services that are, um, you don't have to qualify for them. So just because we have them means that every student gets to use them, such as the books in the library, um, different things with students, student support services. Um, but there are programs that you can apply for to help you as well, that you apply for, you get in and you get special benefits for being a first generation student. So the pioneer experience is something that you get when you come to Tusculum. It is, we are, since we are small, we have um, different things that make us special as far as the community service, the small classes, the, um, we're, we're rooted in our Presbyterian faith. We um, have lots of different activities that within your clubs, your organizations that you can do your community service. We are right here in the mountains, so you can go hiking, you can go, if you want to take a weekend trip to Asheville, we're not far from there. We're not far from Johnson City. We're close to Knoxville um, and not far from Bristol either. So it's a great centralized location that students can um, come and grow within who they are as a student as well. And this page just shows everything that you need to know to move forward. So our, like I said before, our application is free. Here is our website and our number, and these are our different campuses. Now our Greenville campus is our main campus and most everything is here. We do have a few things in Knoxville and a few things in Morristown, um, but, and then we have a few things online, so that's great. But our deep, our, our awesome campus is here in Greenville and that's where most of our students are as well. So like I said, I'm Carrie Beth, and if you have any questions, please feel free to type those in the box. And if not, type get this information down and that way you can get in contact with us. Okay, does anyone have any questions for Kara Beth at Tusculum? Okay, if not, I'm going to share my screen again. All right, so thank you all so much for joining us. Um, just a few extra notes here. When you close the window, there will be a link to a very quick survey. Um, it's only four questions, and we would very much appreciate any feedback that you can provide. 
Also, this is just one of many sessions that are being hosted. So be sure to sign up for additional, additional sessions at CACRAO.org. And in about a week, you will be able to find this session's recording, as well as all of the session recordings at CACRAO.org. Thank you all again so much for joining us.